All right, so today I want to talk about forward and reverse reactions. I've drawn this a couple times, but it's this arrow right here, and there's a lot of talking that is going to go on along with this. But basically the idea for a forward and a reverse reaction is that when we have a chemical reaction, it doesn't just go in one direction. It goes both ways. And when we talk about equilibrium, it's when the rate of each of these is going the same. And so the rates will equalize and they will have um, steady concentrations. And that'll actually look like on a graph. So if we have time and we have concentration, we're going to start with A up here. And we're going to start with D down here. We will see that the lines will do something like this. So as they asymptote out, the asymptote um, equals the equilibrium. And so we can see that there. And the equilibriums can cross, and you can have um, more products and reactants at equilibrium. But that's the general idea that we have forward and reverse reactions. This also bleeds into our endothermic and exothermic graphs. So here I'm going to draw a simple. Um, if my reaction goes like this, I have a hill and a hump, and it goes like that. So this is going to be exothermic. Why? Because we have a negative delta H. So my delta H height is here, so I have a negative delta H. But if I were to draw this backwards, oops, I did not draw that backwards. If I were to draw this backwards, or I went this way, I would start low, and I'd go up to when they finish like this. So see how this is the reverse. So here I started at 1, if I call this 2, and 3. It goes from, this reaction goes from 2 to 3 to 1. So the reverse reaction will go 1 to 3 to 2. So that's what I have here, 1, 2, 3. And it goes from 1 to 3 to 2. This is a reverse reaction, but we notice that this is has a positive delta H, so this is endothermic. So if how does this look on the equation? So if I have A goes to D, I have a forward reaction, I have a reverse reaction, and I have energy on this side of the reaction. When we look at these equilibrium problems, where we add, if we add on one side, it will favor the, the reaction to reach equilibrium again. Where we increase concentration, it'll favor or if we pull it down and we decrease the concentration, it'll want to go back over on this side. So, and then energy, because this, there's energy produced, um, this, the forward reaction would be exothermic. But if we go the reverse reaction way, it takes energy plus D to make A, this would be endothermic. Um, so when we're trying to look at, if I added heat and more of stuff was produced, then I can think, okay, where did I add stuff? Where would the energy come out? And I put energy on my equation, and I can see, oh, I added some energy, and more A was produced. That favors the reverse reaction. So I know that the forward reaction is exothermic, and that's a way, good way to think through those problems. I hope that was helpful.